Hi, today I'm going to share a look inside my, my Peg and All Sendic Artist Roll. This is the mini Artist Roll, and um, they have a larger version as well. So I'm Tammy Inman of A Peach Life, and let's get started. So I have, first off the bat, I want to share with you, I have altered my mini Sendic pin roll. Um, let me share with that with you first off. So if you have one um, or are thinking about one, I don't want to have any confusion there. But this pocket here, you can kind of see the highlighted marks. It used to be sewn where you can add in um, pins or pencils or um, paint brushes or however. And so I um, took the stitching out. And so that's something you may not want to do at all, but I'm always altering my items to work best for me. And it's perfectly wonderful just how it is. And it's not necessary because you can see that the large um, palette, whoops, why does that feel a little stuck there? The large palette fits very nicely into the back pocket. And these are by Art Toolkit. Um, this is the ones Traveler's Company happened to be carrying, but the brand is Art Toolkit in case you're looking for them. If you're looking for the Traveler's Company one, they do have them on their website as of this video. So, again, it's not necessary to have taken the stitching out of those pockets, and taking that stitching out didn't affect any of the other stitching in mine. So, I wanted to be able to carry both of these with me because in this one I keep my Van Gogh watercolor paints and those are by Royal Talons and also Art Toolkit has some of the Van Gogh paints available in some of their palettes if you go directly to them and I like to also carry just a palette for mixing colors and that's if I really am trying to get into mixing and I'm learning how to mix my colors to make other colors so I like having a palette just for that. So I wanted to be able to carry both of them. And also, if you did want to alter this in any way, there is also another um, palette. It's a pocket palette. And let me grab that. I happen to have that here in my Pagan All Writers pouch. This is also another great option. Um, price-wise, and also um, for carrying art supplies because it has two little uh, pockets there in the back for more organization. So I like just having those extra pockets mm -hmm. instead of stuff, not everything just thrown in and you have to dig for it. It's also why I like the artist pin roll because it organizes your items for you. And... It's sort of like the size of what a zip pouch would be, except for you have all these nice slots to kind of open up that pouch and see what's inside. And that's the benefit of the roll. So, um, let me show you. <clears throat> this is the pocket size. And those are my little colors. And say you did want, um, <clears throat> A smaller version I did have at one point and I left the stitching in here so I can put another uh, paintbrush or something and it nicely holds that and you can have the pouch up above but I, I found that I can slip this into the pocket it fits there and I wanted to be able to carry these both and yes you could slip it into that back pocket but I feel like with the bulk it doesn't sit quite the same <clears throat> so let me show you also there's two back pockets and this particular little notebook pagan all makes this to fit in here and it's a cute little size and it has good paper it's sketch paper um, you can also use it for watercolor it's a good thickness and I just have it in here. I'll probably use it to swatch or test and things like that with. 
It also fits in this pocket as well. Um, <clears throat> so does the, I'll just show you. It's, um, it's like quite a tight fit. It's not this one, I believe it's this one of mine. I wanted it for the, um, this is the pocket size moleskin and it just doesn't fit in there. And there's one of mine that I've been able to, it's not the hard cover, it's the soft cover. Let me grab that to show you. Here we go. This is the soft cover and this is the sketchbook. And this one I was able to get in there. Just if you're wondering for size wise, the hard cover pocket size moleskins do not fit. <clears throat> that was my hope for it to be able to take my little moleskin one in there. However, it just works that I just grab whichever um, watercolor notebook or booklet that I'm using or sheets of paper. Okay, so I just wanted to give you examples of what fits because to me I'm always wondering I wonder if this fits or that fits when I'm watching people's videos so I'm sure there's going to be a few things that I miss um, if there is something particular that you really want to know about or see let me know and um, I can always share a photo or maybe make a new video or share it in a quick um, reel on my Instagram for you okay so I do like that I'm able to keep this in the back, put this palette in here, and then also this palette, which they they both fit, but I find like if I put that one in first, I'm able to get that one in nicely. And then again, this one, it's like a little snug, but not bad at all. In this little pocket, I have a black wing pencil it's a little bit taller so I keep it in the back there and then I got my little iced coffee sorry if you hear me sip on that okay um, in the little pockets here this is a little piece of fabric that came with um, my little mini um, notebook that I got from Pagan All and it was so cute that I saved it and it saves my pin roll from getting marks and things on it here. Some people enjoy as it um, gets marks and warms it up and over time I won't mind but right out the gate I did not want that. And then I have a couple micron tip pins that I keep with me. I really enjoy these and there's another brand that I've shared before that I like as well. I have my Caveco sketching pencil and I really enjoy because it has a pencil sharpener on the end, which many of them do not, but the larger ones uh, I believe do. I know this particular were done so I can really sharpen that to a nice point and I can also tilt this and I can get really nice wide and depths of shadows and things like that from it. I love this. I got it at a little special store in Florida. If I can remember that name of that store, I will link it. It's more stationary and little goodies, um, gifts and things like that. But I was lucky that they carried some Caveco items. Okay, and then here is also one water brush. It's the um, Fab Faber or Faber-Castell water brush. I have not used this one yet, but it's supposed to be quite nice. It has this little area you could push to bring forward your water and so on. I just recently got that, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. And then in here, I think you're going to be like really ple pleasantly surprised by how much fits in this little pocket zone. So again, this um, roll, the Sendic roll, comes in two sizes. This is the mini, and then they have a larger version, 
My goal is always to have the smallest item fit the very most things nicely organized um, because I feel like I'm more apt to take it with me. When something's too big and bulky, it feels like a lot for me to take. So I always like the smallest thing that has the biggest impact. That is why I have the mini and I have stuck with that. So in this little tin, I have the little favorite Castell eraser, which keeps lint and things off of your watercolor or sketch paper. I have a little mini art toolkit palette. <clears throat> This color, <coughs> sorry, I'm getting over my cold, but this cough, like many people's, has been lingering. <clears throat> this is a little mini palette. It's really cute. It's for a special little watercolor book I have. And um, it's a, really about mixing colors to make other colors, so I like having that palette with me. Although I could... Um, I could, that one little side keeps wanting to catch there. I could just take those and place them in one of these spots and keep it with me. But I like taking this and I switch it up a bit. So I keep those little paints separate. Plus it's adorable and it's so cute. And this was a special little color that Art Toolkit did for Christmas time. So it was a little must. Okay, also in my pocket, I have a little mini cup, also purchased from Art Toolkit, and it comes in several colors. And then I have a little paintbrush. This is by Royal Talons, it's a Van Gogh paintbrush. <clears throat> I have this one from Beam Paints. Okay, sorry about that. I've been waiting to make my video because of my little bit of cough um, left over, and plus I sound a little funny, but I thought I'd be better. Looks like I should have maybe waited a pinch, but let's go ahead and finish up here. I have another little eraser, another little pencil sharpener, and these are for my colored pencils. These are also the little Faber-Castell color pencils are quite lovely. I first got my first set at the Met, which is the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. They had a special set of colors um, that were made, were like specially curated for this little Van Gogh painting. And the colors kind of match, so if you wanted to draw or recreate that, and that got me started on my love of these. And they're just really smooth and lovely. This particular version, the um, that little gold faber, this is more like the student um, learning uh, set, um, like quality. Mm -hmm. They have like a, a higher quality also that's really like artist grade. The price difference really jumps when you get those. And so for as lovely as these are, these are more than wonderful to get sort of that student grade. And then, okay, I have a little sprayer for my watercolors to spray and get them started. This little tiny one is from Art Toolkit, but um, Ranger, which you can find at Michael's, um, has one also, and it's pretty small, but you can really see how tiny that one is from Art Toolkit. So, there's the little look. It is quite surprising, all these things that fit into this side pocket here. It's impressive, I feel. And so um, that is why I have stuck with the mini roll. It more than sufficiently holds all that I need and then some. And it's just like an adorable, size and even for me the bulk is getting a little tiny much but if you like to carry lots and lots with you 
you could go on Paganol and take a look at the regular size. There's also lots of videos out there on YouTube where people share that as well and see if that is maybe a better fit for you. But I can share with you guys that I absolutely love the mini Syndic roll and it's worked out beautifully and it feels extremely special and holds everything really nicely. And in my next video, just so you have an idea, um, that writer's pouch by Paganol that I shared a little glimpse of, I'm gonna show you how I also utilize that for only watercolor supplies. And maybe that might be a better option for you. It's also a big price difference. Um, this is considerably more, almost three times more than that writer's pouch. So that might be, um, a great option or if you like a zip pouch version okay well thank you for joining me and as always i always answer all my comments below and i appreciate when you guys like and subscribe or share any information with me thanks so much